Hello and welcome. As you can see, I'm already huddling blindly around. This time we are in Sandland. Well, more like Planet of Sand, but you get the drift. Now this time around, the uh, faces and whatever stuff is more easily visible and shooting it is easier right now. Oh, I forgot. I'm Libluini and this is my little let's play of Amnios for the Amiga. So, and now, genocide. So we're still massacring life on one planet after another to stop the Onko block. And this time I have auto firearm, so I won't have to stop this time just because my hand hurts like hell. And this time around we not only are on a sand planet, not only have we to destroy more evil faces, this time around there are even more enemies blindly skirting around, shooting shit at you, coming right at you, getting touchy-feely, and not every time this happens your energy drains like crazy and you explode violently. You may notice I still have 5 lives, despite being on the exploding end several times. I've decided to not uh, look too closely into why my lives don't go down, because holy shit, if I had to restart again and again because of the crazy password system and me dying all the time, I think I would have stopped somewhere in the first level and this would be, have been just a let's fail and that I am dead. That can't be done. Apparently there is too much anime in our thread, so let's just combat this with good old European craziness for the Amiga, okay? So we are killing stuff like mad and apparently some of this stuff isn't even part of the enemy. No. Okay, let's stop. First, I'll have to explain something different. You may keep wondering because why I'm suiciding into everything here and sometimes just stop evading. No, it's not because I have apparently infinite lives. It's still annoying to die all the time, but, well, I wasn't joking, as I said last time, this game controls like asteroids and it's kind of hard to react when you have to uh, turn your ship around and accelerate, uh, accelerate into, into a different direction. And it's even worse if stuff comes from outside because then you have to do this somehow 10 times in less than a second just to evade everything and that's simply impossible. Well, impossible for me, at least. I have no idea what does it, what did this thing was. Something, maybe a humanoid imprisoned like the game told me to last time? Well, while I am out here shooting everything on this world, weird barren planet, oh and exploding of course, I can take a look into the manual. Let's see what the manual has to say, okay. And I'm dead again, great. And, ah here, Amiga loading instructions, important. Always switch your machine off for at least 30 seconds before loading the game. Failure to do so may result in virus contamination of the Amnios master disk. See the virus warning and the warranty notice in this manual for further information. Could this actually happen? I didn't remember my Amiga being prone to virus infections. Hmm. Switch your computer on. Insert a kickstart disk if so prompted. When the display prompts for a workbench disk, insert disk 1 of Amnios in your computer's internal drive. Insert disk 2 when prompted. Amnios is played with a joystick plugged in into the second joystick port and or a mouse plugged into the joystick port. Yeah, fucking hell I won't play this with a mouse. Are, are, the, are those people crazy or something? Playing with a mouse? Uh, it's confusing enough playing this with a gamepad. I'm sure I still won't try playing this with a mouse. I really want to hold on to my sanity here. So, next part. Loading tips. Should the title screen not appear within 45 seconds 
of turning on your machine, there may be a problem with your computer system. Check your blah 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 blah. All Psygnosis products are fully guaranteed. Virus warning. This product is guaranteed, guaranteed by Psygnosis to be virus free. Oh, interesting. Psygnosis Limited except... except... There is an S missing at this point. No responsibility for damage caused to this product through virus infection. To avoid virus infection, always ensure that your machine is switched off for at least 30 seconds before loading this game. This apparently destroys the virus? Maybe it was like this back in the day? Huh. So I learned something new today. And holy shit, I'm almost dead again? Shit. Die, you freaking thing. Did I just explode empty space? This game gets me sometimes. Amnios. Ah, yes. I think the next part I'm posting is just the backstory. Uh, something new here. Oh, yeah. Um, holy shit. Even more stuff to destroy. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, while reading the backstory, I just noticed uh, there's something mentioned which didn't made it into the intro for some reason. So I start at the beginning. It lurked at Galactic Center like some obscene worm gnawing at the heart of a rose, a cancerous life form of planetary dimensions that fed on the very stuff of space time, subverting it to its own needs, shaping it into versions of itself in a parody of procreation. It was called Life Gone Mad. It was on K block. And weirdly enough, in the entire manual, it's called Onka Block instead of Onko Block. Well, it's both a nonsense word, I suppose, so, well, I prefer to call it Onko Block, just because it's right here in the game. And, uh, and I'm only having a text document here from the manual, not the manual itself, so it could be that it's just an error made by copying it to the text there file. So let's call it like you know. And that's a lot of green stuff there. Apparently the green stuff isn't an enemy. Hmm? Well, the sapiens of the planet Terra were the dominant sentient species in the whole quadrant of home galaxy. Their remorseless diaspora absorbing the few other spacefaring species peacefully into the culture. So wait a minute, the Galactic Alliance is dominated by humans? Or something like humans from the same planet? This is weird. Eventually they reach the heart, galactic center, so long obscured by immense dust clouds, only to discover the pulsating chaos they are waiting. Well, apparently hopefully they are really surprised because the galactic center is not really a place for life as we know it could be sustained. Even giant world eating faces. The power and wealth of the culture was glimpsed by Onka Block or Onko Block. Enough if absorbed into its heterogeneous bodies to render it the most powerful entity in creation. The horror of its passage as it launched at a peaceful and intricate domicile worlds, absorbing the life force and energy will never be forgotten. So wait a minute, the intro told us we doing this shit to protect our worlds? And now the manual tells us it's actually too late, the Onko block already attacked our worlds and killed a few of them. Ah, oh, I hate it. And apparently both their facts don't match up like this. It's like they had two different writers, one for the game and one for the manual. Ah, well, what's next? Die, 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 die. Or not. Amnios was created as the Elder Mind struggled to come to terms with this unknowable evil. Amnios was a symbiotic construct of matron mind and biology, each element a disparate cell in an organism, 
sharing one consciousness and purpose, to eradicate the malignancy that threatens all of life. The best and bravest of all the species of the Kush are volunteered to be represented within this artificial organism, each a separate entity and yet united into a benign variation of that which I sought so desperately to destroy. Holy shit, that was a, that was a sentence. And here, the best and bravest are dying again, and I found humanoids. Sadly, I have no idea how I'm supposed to save those. Um, maybe the manual will help. I just let the humanoid tag along. Looks like a woman. Or is this just the weird sprite? Well, what does the manual have to tell me? Like highly mobile bacteria, they spread throughout the oncoblock's heaving bulk, attacking its sensory and reproductive organs. Knowing that if enough damage could be inflicted to each world growth in a short enough period of time, then that growth would be irretrievably terminated. To this end, their weaponry became variations of the oncoblock's own immune defense system turning the creature's own means of protection upon itself. Each element had to be acquired from the shirt base. Each piece of genetic, uh, genetic information frantically sought to furnish the father ship with the ability to manufacture weaponry. What the hell is the father ship? The tiny ships flee, flew to wrest literally vital elements from the growth to inflict enough damage to bring about necrosis, thence to flee to yet another more powerful world growth and continue to fight for survival. Each ship was controlled by a semi-independent intelligence. Yeah, the ugly cyborg we've seen it. And now, finally the game. So, hopefully we now finally find out what's up with those um, humanoids and the father ships and holy shoot is this, this a mess no 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 not ah, <laughs> again wow i'm the first player ever so joystick mouse or keys to appear experience the joy of victory or the bitter sense of failure well for me it's more about the sense of failure <laughs> Navigate your craft over plants strategically, using whatever fate places at your disposal in your efforts to rid the culture finally of this ultimate horror of death incarnate. And then, yeah, yeah, we have ten planets, each more made up of foliage, squama, or epidermis. Whatever this means, I have no idea. Does this mean um, the difference between evil monster faces and normal planet, or what's up with this? Any weapon will destroy a planet's vitals, but an organ-specific weapon only requires one shot. To obtain weapons, you need to collect DNA from the planet's surface and take it to your father ship where arms are created for you. Yeah, but what the hell is the father ship? How does it look? Where can I find it? The four different types of DNA to be found a pattern to the different types of weapons your father ship can create. DNA and weapons. Red DNA. Three smart bombs. Never seen it, I think. Green DNA. 20 seconds of shield. Also never seen, I think. Invulnerability or repulsion. Uh, it's still green. Blue DNA. Imperishable laser enhancements. Oh -ho. Can't remember. Yellow DNA. Four V bombs. Heart attack, brain bomb, Asoka, or, or Vengeance? Apparently. It isn't a typo, it's some kind of weapon targeting veins. But if I can, could see what exactly makes a vein, and how do, does it differentiate from something like uh, those things now, which looks like weird side mouths veins or bulging hearts? Well, I suppose at least brains and eyes can be easily distinguished from the background and holy shit again almost dead oh oops well there is a brain there is bulging something and I'm dead oh not touching it oh and thanks and oh shit it's bad I'm touching something again that was uh, again dead Ugh. We bombs are capable of inflicting damage on all living parts of the planet, but organ specific bombs require just one shot to destroy that organ. The right V bomb for the right job is 
easily recognizable by its name. Heart attack, brain bomb, and so on. Yes, 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 yes. I would have never guessed a heart attack bomb would deal damage to hearts. So, yellow DNA. Yes, I remember picking up yellow DNA, but apparently I was supposed to transport it to the Omino's father ships. The enter key on the keypad scrolls through your weapons in space where activates the highlighted weapon. Oh, I guess I can do this as soon as I pick up weapons. It takes father ships some time to make weapons. The ironic twist to your weapon building capabilities is that it healthier the planet is, the quicker your father ship is able to create weapons. So, in other news, if I found find now a father ship, I'm kind of boned, because I already destroyed a shitload of stuff on the planet, and now I know what the symbols in the right, top right of the screen means, because now it is explained. In the top right of the screen are icons which represent the percentage of living parts remaining on the current planet. Heart, overall living parts, brain and eyes. They disappear as the percentage lessens. Hey, oh shit, I didn't notice that thing. Uh, another giant bug. Uh, and it kills me even faster than the other bug. Well, this was fun. So, oh, something about the controls. Control, control. Well, at least now I know how to select weapons. I guess I, yeah, I only need weapons now. Well, this is apparently one of those old school games where it's really helpful if you actually read the manual. So, back to fighting. There's still stuff to shoot at, but let's concentrate on. Oh, yeah, t touching the boss is bad. But shooting the boss is also bad, because then he just keeps on ram ramming you and touching you and sucking all the light off. Life out of your ship until you explode, and it goes really fast, as you can see. So, you have to stay away from the boss, you have to evade his shots, you have to evade the boss itself, and you have to shoot the boss all at the same time. Sadly, you cannot go backwards as long as you shoot, because you have to turn away from the enemy which kind of puts a hamper on your efforts here. Uh, I don't want to know how much times I already died. I think they, I have must uh, lost an entire fleet of small ships already. Well, at least I make the game more realistic this way. After all, if you kill entire planets, you should lose something. Yes, I, yeah, I, I know it's bullshit, but... but well, at least I'm trying here. Uh, how much does this fucking... Oh, I'm dead again. Keeping away, keeping away, evading shots and hitting it and hitting it. Uh, at this point I think I should have tried to run away again. And of course I respawn inside and lose a little chunk of energy again. I hate it when if the when the games just oh I won. Literally a nanosecond before I died. Oh wait, wait, wait. What was that? Okay. Now I understand what this uh, trying to tell me. Type squama, bio name, serpent and it's Onka block even here? Okay, now I'm even more confused. I think I have to take a good look at the intro again, because I could have sworn it was Onko Block. Ah, uh, well, this was episode 2. See you next time, in the next level.